Hello everybody, I am Bets Gold and I'm so excited that you're here with me today. Really, I am. I know I said, I think I said that every time, but I'm super excited about this. This is with one of my very favorite small businesses. It's Renia Foil Paper. I used to be on their design team. I think I was on it for like three years. And this last year, I decided that I needed to take a break and step away. And the reason is because um, really... I love the company. I love the people behind it, but I was just having such a hard time coming up with new ways to use the foil paper over and over again. And so that happens often when you're a designer and an artist. It's like you have to take a break and I would not have been serving them well had I stayed on with them. Um, so I stepped down. But that doesn't mean that I don't still love this company and still adore their paper. So Renia Foil Paper is actually paper that is foiled on both sides. It originated in Germany and it is where they make their Christmas cards, their Christmas stars. It's really cool. The owner grew up in Germany. She's an American. I think her dad is military. And the nuns taught her how to make these stars out of this paper. And so she came out to the United States and she couldn't find it. And to have people mail it over to her was getting super expensive. So she decided to bring it over to the United States under Rania. And basically the RI stands for one of her kids' first names. The NE stands for the other child's first name. And the A is their last name. So that's how they got the name. It is a small business. They are based out of Texas and they are the nicest people ever. So... <coughs> Pardon me. I'm going to show you what this does. So you can, it's super duper durable. So like I can fold it and then flatten it out and it is just fine. You can rip it. And as you can tell, there is a layer of paper that has been infused with foil. So you can do things like distress it, but it only, it's super durable. Like it only tears when you want it to tear. I'm going to show you five things you can do with it today. And it comes in several different sizes. So this is the artist pack and it's a four by six. And then this is um, the, this is the, um, one of their variety packs. And I believe this is a six by 12 size. And then they have full 12 by 12 sizes and rolls that you can purchase as well. It comes with the embossed stars, or just a flat type paper. Let me show you this real quick. So as you can tell, this is the floral pack and you can see that they're embossed, these embossed stars. And then they just have that are just straight up color. And each back is gold, which is super cool. So I am going to pull that one out to use later with one of the techniques that I'm going to show you. Um, the first thing I want you to know is that you can run this through a dry embossing folder in your machine. It embosses absolutely gorgeous. So I'm using from the pastel variety pack for the next couple demos here. Uh, it, it's just beautiful. And I am ran this through the emboss and look what it does. It doesn't tear. It doesn't, it doesn't fall apart in there. It embosses just absolutely beautifully. Okay, so that's the first thing that you can do with it. The second thing that you can do with Renia foil paper is you can actually send it through your die cut machine and use a delicate die cut on it and it will die cut beautifully. But to do this, I recommend sending it through folded so you'll get two die cuts for the price of one. If you end up not wanting to use the die cut, that uh, the second die cut, then just keep it together and it'll give you a really sturdy die cut, if that makes any sense. So I have run this through, this butterfly through, and I do use that brush on it. And then I'm just going to pull this on out of here, hopefully, hopefully. Let me see here. Sometimes it just, you know, these delicate ones, they can be a little bit tricky. So, got that up. There we go. Voila. Look how pretty that die cut. Right? Isn't that just like amazing? The pieces fall out relatively easy. And this is double. So, there's two sheets on here. So, if I wanted, I like to use it double because see what you can do is you can like bend it up like that and put it on a project. It's so pretty. And then, but you can totally 
take and separate it out if you want, which I'm trying to do. I'm sorry, my hands are dirty. They're covered in paint. Aren't they always covered in paint? So, usually it separates out so much easier than what it is right now. But what you can do is you can separate out the pieces and you can have like the butterfly fluttering and so have like the top of it turned up. There we go. And the bottom of it turned down. So you can keep, and so it adheres really nicely to itself so you don't have to necessarily take it all apart. But you can like do, you know, one up, one down. I mean, how pretty is that? Or you can separate them out entirely. Look how beautifully they separate out. Did not fall apart, did not rip, okay? It is delicate paper, but it is very durable paper. You can shape this any way you want. So it handles your delicate die cuts beautifully. Okay, so that's the second technique that you can do with it. The third technique that you can do with it is you can stamp on it. You're gonna wanna use a stays on permanent ink because this is a glossy surface, of course, right? So I'm going to just take one of these pieces of paper out of here. Actually, I think I'll use this one right here, the floral pack, because um, I got some scraps in the back. I think I do, maybe I don't. Mm -hmm. Well, I can use the purple. That'll work for this demonstration. Okay, so you can use, add ink to it. So you can stamp. And I'm going to just use um, this little stamp I have from Simon Hurley. Use some stays on ink, all right? And then you just want to... Um, put direct pressure on and you don't want to move it, okay? Now my ink pad might be a little bit messed up here. Yeah, I think that's my ink pad problem. I don't think that that's a problem with this. Let me try, uh, my Raven Detail ink should work as well on this. Or I can, it's a rather dark piece of cardstock, I mean dark piece of paper, uh, foil paper, so I might need to go and, and do it on um, this one instead to show you. Let's see here. Yeah, let me, it does work, but let me show you over here on this one. It's all part of the fun. See, I'm not gonna edit this out because I think you guys kind of like to see that. You know what I mean? I think you enjoy seeing that. And I don't wanna stamp it on this one because I kind of want to use that card base later. You know what I mean? All right, so let's just see if I... There you go, so it stamps. Now this, once it dries, it'll be totally permanent because we added ink to the paper, right? But you have to use a stays on. Uh, um, ink on it to work because it is glossy. Now, this is the cool thing. This is actually ink that I came up with for by mistake. And I, sh I discovered it, Creativation 2017. I stumbled upon this technique. They went out and marketed it and created an ink for this. So what I'm gonna show you right now is freaking awesome. You can also remove the foil from this to show the silver underlay. So I just wanna make sure that this is clean. And this is Ghost Ink 2.0, sorry, mine's a mess because I use it a lot. So I'm just gonna take it like, and I'll put it down here. So I'm gonna wait a couple seconds, depending on where you are in the country or world will depend on how quickly it, it takes to kind of dry. But once you, once it gets to a point where it's dry, you're just gonna take a paper towel and wipe it away. And that's permanent. And you just revealed that beautiful silver underlay on it. And it's permanent because you took color off of it. It removed the ink, okay? So there's four things. Now the fifth thing we're gonna do is something else that I accidentally stumbled upon. And that is alcohol ink. You can use alcohol ink on this. So I'm gonna use this side of the foil paper right here. 
put that there. That always bothers me. And I'm just gonna drop some alcohol ink on it and then I'll blow it around. But it, I like that this is my like favorite substrate for alcohol ink is the foil paper. I just really like how it lays. I've always really, really liked it. So um, that was raisin. This is red pepper. And it's so, so cool how it just plays on this. All right. So you can create like amazing backgrounds without having to go and buy Yuko paper. And I think that this is cheaper at the end of the day. They also have something called Misfits and Misfits are wonderful. They are, there's, there's nothing like the edges on them might be a little bit raw or something like that. But what makes them so cool is they come in a pack. It's like double the size of a regular pack for the same price. And you get like a whole bunch of different colors. And so that is a really great way to try these out without busting the bank and just trying different colors so that you know which one you like. And I do have an affiliate link that I'm gonna provide for you down below. Um, I would, I mean, even if you just go over and check it out, I mean, I would like to share some love with them and um, I want them to know that I still love them. So if you can let them know that you found them through my video, I would so appreciate it. And then once this dries, it's totally good to go and it's permanent because you know it's alcohol ink but how freaking cool is that so this is a really universal paper this is a staple in my craft room I use it for so many things so many things all right you guys if you haven't subscribed to my oh, I already done that de that deal didn't I did I do the whole spiel subscribe like share da 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 if not you know the run all right I hope you have a wonderful day Go check them out. Also, check out their website. Check out their YouTube. They have a blog. Lots of ideas. Um, the designers that are over there are incredible. I know them personally, so I am passionate about this company. And um, if you guys can just share anything just to help them grow, that would be awesome because this is such a wonderful product with good people behind it. Until next time, happy crafting. I'm Beth Golden.